Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. I'm your host, Auto Director Jester. We're just back at it. Oh yeah, Rouge the Bat's a thing. Oh yeah, she came into this game too. Oh shit, I just realized Pumpkin Hill's in this one too. You betcha. Holy shit! Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, and they still so couldn't get an actor for Knuckles. Look who's calling who Knuckles is a great protector of the Master Emerald. I can hear following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, I think Dean Bristow is kind of like taking ether in the recording booth because he's just kind of like doing this the entire time. He doesn't really I'll just take it with me. Farewell. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, Knucklehead. So that Knuckles in a fit of brilliance shatters the Master Emerald. I. Wow, that was really stupid. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. I can restore. And by the way, that's Look who's calling who an idiot. Wait, wait. Is that like a serial killer saying I killed them to save them? Yeah, but at least it's an inanimate object, so what? Okay, well, good point. Yeah, we'll see yeah, about sure. that, Batgirl. So now, so now Knuckles is dragged into the plot, and the race is on to get his Master Emerald shards back, because he just can't keep track of them. But it is pretty much the same it is in Sonic Adventure, except for a few differences. For example, we can only get one at a time now. Oh no. They added wrapping! Oh, shut up, the wrapping is amazing. Like, I'm about to just say, no dot. uh, I'm not gonna commentate and just let the rap song go. But is it really that good? Yeah! Okay, so we'll just go ahead and beat up Omo Chow for a bit while the song plays. <laughs> Can you turn it evil? No, but uh, sometimes you'll get him to say, You're mean! I'm not helping you anymore! Believe me, I don't want him helping me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Can I have another? All right, let's get the actual mission. Uh, like I said, you can only get one emerald at a time. But they do give you hints, and if you can hone in onto an emerald, you really don't need the hints. Knowing where to start is usually where the hints come in. We've already got the first one around here somewhere, somewhere around here, somewhere. Now, is it kind of like the, uh... Are they in the same exact spots? No. Okay, they, they change. Can be, they can be anywhere. Alright, so I got the first one, that's good. Oh, I got a lock on the second one, too. And uh, they also appear one at a time, so don't think that you can just find a third one by accident. Uh, oh, oh, they're in enemies, too. Yeah, they can, they can be anywhere. Some of them are even underground. Well, not in this instance, but... Some of them are only found in secret rooms. They can literally be anywhere. Hmm... Whoa. Even though this is like the eternal hell for ping, 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 ping. <laughs> this is, the Knuckles stages are still my favorite stages in the entire game, I think. Really? I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Sonic stages are pretty good and all, but... I don't know. Hunting the Emeralds is always fun, because it's never the same thing twice. You know what I mean? I can kind of see that, but I would still I like to run fast in a Sonic game. And but you can still do me. that. You can still do that with the Sonic stages. I know, but then you get all these distractions with the other characters and such. Oh man, it's like it's a big game full of content or something. Yeah, I feel good. Plenty of distractions, and I do feel good too, Knuckles. I feel pretty good. This is a really good... I'm, I'm feeling this, man. Feeling it really well. And now for plot! Yep. Now for Tails. Oh, great. Who I think was told from the last game that he's not cutting it. It's because, you know, you know, he just can't do the flying thing anymore. Nobody really digs that because it breaks the game and he's, you know, upstaging Sonic because of it. <laughs> so they realized that, wait a minute, the shooting bits from Sonic Adventure. People really liked that, didn't they? Didn't they? D did they? Did they? I don't know if they did. I mean, I'm getting a lot of comments saying that people like the shooting bits from Gamma, so I guess there's that. But... <laughs> they made tails in these shooting sections, and he's... Well, we'll get to that. Oh, 
Oh, no. And that's how that works. Oh, no. <laughs> so now we're going to get a chance to beat that Dr. Eggman bastard. And it works just like uh, Gamma did. Lock on, keep shooting. And this is... <sighs> but don't get too close because he has a melee attack that hurts a lot too that he'll like to use. This is all Tails does in his entire part of the story? No, that was just a boss fight. No, no, I mean, like, that's how he gets around? Yeah. Oh. They put him in a... They put him in a mech suit and they nerfed him. This time I'll let you go. But the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. The next time we meet, my lip sync will be back in sync. He just got the shit kicked out of him, and he said, I let you win! I got beaten up by an eight-year-old fox boy! Oh, please turn off this music. Oh, what's the matter with this music? I like it! I got up my map <laughs> You'll say that about Joseph. anything in this! <laughs> sweet, sweet, you're so sweet! Come on, settle <laughs> our lives! Oh my god, you got the perfect sync point. I'm not dad! <laughs> you go, girl. girl! Anyway, Prison Lane. Tail is its first action stage. His works just like Gamma's do, except they're way longer and way better. Seriously? Yeah. Now, it's not like personal bias or anything. These are actually better than Gamma stages. Yeah, because they're longer and better and have more variety. Okay. And he also knows that there aren't any adventure fields, either. There's no Station Square or Mystic Ruins or Egg Carrier or anything. It's all just this. It's all, uh, yeah, just like a straightaway path. You don't have to go into a hub world anymore. Keeps the pace going pretty well, I say. So, uh, how many different times do you think they had to go to the cutting room floor to get this to be, like, to get it all coherent? Because I'm assuming these stories overlap at one point. I think they tried really hard on this game because, A, it's it's uh, definitely one of the better Sonic games ever made, I'd say. It's at least uh, the best 3D one. Yeah, I can, I can live with saying that. But, uh... Uh, I think they just had more time to work on this. You know, they didn't have to meet any deadlines or whatever. They could work on this uh, however long they wanted to with all the sexy new Dreamcast money that they had, so they made the best game that they could. We're getting a much better experience out of it. How much better? Well, we're gonna, uh, gonna have to see. Now, you say sexy new Dreamcast money, but how long did that cash flow last? Uh, not too long. Well, how long did it last? Well, do you see a Sonic Adventure 3? I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what game would you consider Sonic Adventure 3? Out of the ones we have. Sonic Unleashed. Ew, really? Yeah, because it was supposed to be Sonic Adventure 3 at one point. Oh. That's unfortunate. And can I admit something? I like that game, too. But, but, only the next-gen version. Are you talking about between PS2 and the, <laughs> the other next-gen uh, stuff? Yeah. I felt so betrayed and so angry when I played that shit. Uh, that was just awful. <laughs> now, I will say, Sonic Unleashed did have problems, and I love the fast stages, even though half of them were uh, were uh, first-timer bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, no, I really like those stages. It's just when everything slowed down is when it got abnormally asinine. I didn't I didn't even mind the Werehog stages, really. They took oh, look, forever! Golden, Golden Beetle, I missed him. That guy's worth uh, 5,000 points. There's one in every stage, it only appears for like a few seconds. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, I was just saying, Sonic Unleashed is only half of a good game. It is. You have to bend backwards a lot and put the English, in, uh, put the, the language into Japanese, seriously. Uh -huh. And yeah, then you uh -huh. have, yeah, have sure. a good time. No, really, you'll have a good time then. <laughs> I think if they just uh, removed half the stages, I'd have a better time. David? Okay, there could have been a little less Werehog stages, but you know, I'm yeah. used to I'm, I'm used to shitty action games. The Werehog levels, I didn't mind them too much. Because I, I was good at them! <laughs> Everybody's mad because they sucked at the game, and so it's like, uh, dude, the okay. game's stupid. Okay, Kids. answer me this. Okay. Did you ever try you, to get an S rank? You always say that! No, no, no. Have you ever tried to get an S rank? Yeah. Did you get them? Yeah. 
Okay, you have one up on me then. Because I damn tried and uh, it didn't work out so well. Suck my wear dick. <laughs> How did you have more patience to get through Sonic Unleashed and get S ranks than me? Well, uh, maybe we'll talk about that a little later. Right now, we got some. <laughs> we, we got a very important business to take care of here. Chow Garden. We got Chow Garden. Very good. This is an important, important Chow run too, because we're going to be showing off a few things. So, are those the only three heroes we're going to be de dealing with? On the good side, yes. Yeah. That's it. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Big three. That's it. And then the dark side. That, that, that's later. Tails does not have his walker in the Chow world, though, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Can you imagine clunking around the Chow Garden and accidentally stepping on the one that's supposed to be bad? Turns him more evil. Oh my gosh, Chow Kindergarten. Yep, there's a kindergarten here. So, so what do you do with the with the different chows in kindergarten? Does like one get to study and the other one you just bang up against the chalkboard? Oh, we can do that too. Right now, uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Right now, let's start with the black market here. Uh, all of these items randomize, and you can use the rings that you've gotten from your action stages to buy things. Whenever you see any kind of trait fruit, buy it. Because we need to get heroes and darks as quick as we can. So I'm going to head and get a hero fruit. We're going to take it back to our little guy who we're going to be bringing here. Because really we can't do much without a chow. We got the classroom. We got a principal's office. We got a doctor's office. We got a fortune tower. We got everything. So wait, you can actually have a principal's office? Like, like you're going to take your bad chow to the principal's office. He's going to get a five-day suspension? Uh, well, he just really gives you tips. That's more like uh, the, the tutorial. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if we can't find our little guy. Where is he at? Oh, oh wow, I was right! He's trying to swim. And the other one's just dying in the water. All right, let's feed him the drives. Give him the goods. Yep. Make him more powerful. Suck it down, you little monster. <laughs> Daddy's got to feed the monkey. I bet you can't wait to go to your new family at the circus. <laughs> Foster care is going to love you. <laughs> and you can already notice that his little ball starting to change. <laughs> so, uh, how, how is this Chow's attitude? Well, he's been institutionalized. He's fine. All right, so we're going to have our little guy Chow down on the hero fruit here. I'm only calling him our little guy because he doesn't have a name yet. And that's one of the things we can do at the Chow Kindergarten is give him a name. And all this fun stuff, all this great, wonderful goodness about Chows will be continued in the next the next episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. See you next time. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. That's what I'm representing.